Right now, in 2018, there are more than 1.5 million young Aussies enrolled in high school. But a new national survey conducted by the group Year 13 has discovered the majority of students will struggle with the transition to life after school. Yes, the report also found that Gen Z have a lack of confidence in the schools they attend, their career options and the life skills needed to survive in the real world. So where are we going wrong and what needs to change? Yeah, Saxon Phipps is the co-founder of Year 13, which is Australia's largest digital career and life advice platform for high school leavers. And he joins us live. G'day, Saxon. Nice hey, to see you. 9% uh, uh, of students believe that their school's priority is life after graduation. Do you think there are lots of young Aussies out there who are leaving school underprepared? Yeah, definitely. And that was really uncovered in the report. We found that 79% of young people are wanting more life skills as a part of that transitional process and from what they're not getting from schools. And that could be anything from ta how to do your taxes, about how to prepare for a job interview, what a resume is. So young people are feeling very disjointed from they're not having the the, the appropriate transition into that next phase of life. It's all about the syllabus. Correct. Yeah. Because we hear a lot of uh, students at school and at university saying that they aren't learning real life skills there. So what needs to change? I think there needs to be a real focus on the future of jobs and education. I think that's been that it's been terribly missed and the, the schooling system hasn't really caught up to that. I think we're seeing you know, a lot of you know, traditional paths be well, they're going to be redundant in the next five to ten years and it's like that hasn't been met in kind of the delivery of content to young people around what you know, how to make those, those right decisions. Yeah so you're more referring to I guess things like technology. Uh, are, are we not keeping up with that and I guess the traditional forms that we're seeing now at university are going to be obsolete the more technology advances? It Definitely. Um, there's a campaign at the moment which is called Real Skills for Real Careers and um, from the Department of Education and that's focusing on the transferable skills that you can develop through going through the likes of vocational education and training. It's not just going straight into university and I think there's a, there's a distinct gap there between bridging like the, the vocational path and then the traditional uni path and I think that yeah. as soon as that can be met a lot of these issues can, can be kind of a Yeah okay so what should happen? What, what, what should kids be considering before uni? I, I think a big thing that young people need to focus on is, is their strengths um, and, and what intrinsically motivates them and be able to make, as soon as you identify that as, as a person, as a young person especially, you're going to have a greater, greater idea as to where to take your career and where to take your life outside of school. You know, it's really hard to be able to be, you know, th I mean, say 18 or 19 and, and be able to know exactly what you're meant to do when you've been in school for the past 13 years. Oh, of course, so, mate, of course. As soon as you can identify that, you're far better off. Yeah. Is, it, is it just our system that needs a shake-up or is this on parity with what's sort of happening around the world as far as going from school you know, to university. Yeah, it's interesting, and we've done a lot of research and looked recently into you know different markets and what's happening around the world. And you know, some of the the leaders of it have been like over in Germany and over in um, Sweden. They've been phenomenal in terms of kind of raising the profile of vocational education and training and putting that on the same path as university. And right. Also acknowledging the the transitional process um, that careers, I mean, that industries are going through. So I think that if we could take a, a, a page out of some of those economies and, and looking at that, especially as Australia is, you know, we are such a diverse nation and how we, how we can actually contribute on a global scale, I think yeah. that'll answer a lot of the issues. Yeah. And, and for students who are at school, they're often getting mixed messages, so they really care about their year 12 mark, but then their parents are saying, well, it doesn't really matter out in the real world. Mm. Uh, what is the reality? It's, and that's another great point, and, and parents have a, a great position to play in, in the, this whole picture. We surveyed parents and it was something along the lines of one out of, out of, out of, yeah, one out of every ten parents don't know enough about the future jobs or the future mm. of education. So mm. I think parents can then now look at different platforms that are available to look at jobs and look at education to be able to have a meaningful conversation with mm. their children, which kind of alleviates that stress of I'm not knowing what I'm going to do and yeah. then really be able to kind of have a, a constructive conversation yeah. around it. Well, not every kid's going to end up in that STEM industry, are they? No, and like no. Every, like you said, in the top, every kid's got to perform to their strengths. I love that you're on the forefront for this, mate, with your platform. This is really good lending a hand to lot, lots of the kids out there. Let's talk about social media. Yep. Do you think the kids need to sort of tidy up their social media before applying for jobs or internships or <laughs> apprenticeships? I, I, I would say so. I'd say yes. Uh, it's interesting. Like, um, 
you know, social media has a massive part to play in all young people's lives. And so um, when I know of a lot of employers that do look at their social accounts and just see what they're at. So I, I would suggest to a lot of young people to definitely... Give uh, it a little haircut before yeah, you go yeah, out. Yeah, I think uh, I need to give myself one as well. <laughs> no, you look good. Delete those crazy photos of Instagram. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> awesome job. Thank you very much, Thanks Saxon. For having me, guys. Good to talk to you. For more information about Year 13 and the report, please just head across to our website. All right.